Hello and welcome to another edition of The Buzz. We are over the halfway point of the season on the basketball court which means that there's gonna be a lot to talk about as the week wind down. There's also a lot to talk about off the court. I wanted to put Eddie Evans on the spot about the Manti Teo situation. Unfortunately, Eddie has a little bit of difficulty pronouncing Manti Teo's name. So we're going with Tim Kassmeyer instead. I'm with Norfolk Catholic head girls basketball coach, Tim Kassmeyer. Coach, you guys are off to an eight and four start to the season. Even though you're eight and four, you've played a lot of tough competition. I think the teams that we've played are obviously are very good that we have lost to, and I think the teams that we have been able to beat are good teams too. So it will be something that hopefully we can keep getting a little better as we go. I think we've done some good things at times. I know that looking at the Mid-State Conference as a whole, the, I know the seedings come out next week for the tournament. Uh, overall, it's going to be a dog fight. Yeah, from top to bottom, anybody 1 through 10, I think has, on a given night could play with anybody. On the boys' side, Norfolk Catholic isn't having quite as good of a season, but there could be a reason for that. There's a lot of strong teams, not only on their schedule, but in the area. I'm going to quick run down some of the leaders and wild card points in our area. In Class C1 right now, Wayne is having a fantastic season, 13-2 and two on the year. They're third in the wild card points. Valentine, not too far back at sixth. Despite having a couple games snowed out last week, yes, in the western part of the state, they got a little bit of snow. O'Neill is number seven in the Class C1 ratings. In Class C2, Lutheran High Northeast is the only team in the top eight in our area. They're sitting number eight. They just defeated Pierce in a 36-31 contest, so it was actually 14 to 10 at halftime. Some people thought there was a football game going on when I tweeted out some scores. They were wrong. It's January, it's basketball season. Creighton is right behind them in the C2 wildcard points. I'll talk a little bit more about them in just a bit. In Class D1, Howells Dodge has a comfortable lead in the top spot. Clearwater Orchard, kind of a surprise team there at number five. O'Neill St. Mary's, not a surprise at all. The defending Class D1 champion with just one loss on the year. They are at number seven in the D1 wildcard ratings in Class D2. Wausau and Why Not still holding down the top two spots. Humphrey St. Francis fourth. Bancroft Rosalie eighth. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this Creighton team. There were a lot of question marks surrounding them as the year began, and for good reason. They lost Ryan Metis, who was arguably the best player in Class C2 last year, one of the best players in the state regardless of class. So you wondered how they could recover from that. Well, the team this year is having a phenomenal year, and it's just because of that, the team concept. Seth and Justin Wilmis, Cole Thomas, Bronson Paul, Reed Liska, and many others, they're capable of stepping up. They're contributing different things every night. That's why they're 11-3, and three, coming off a 48-41 to 41 win over a pretty darn good Hardington Cedar Catholic team. Speaking of Harding Hardington Cedar Catholic, I like to go with common themes. The common theme here is... Cedar Catholic was the last team to beat West Point Beamer. The cadets started 2-6 and six on the year. They've now reeled off eight straight wins, and according to Coach Nick Kroon, they've done it with defense, and let me tell you, the numbers don't lie. During their eight-game winning streak, West Point Beamer has outscored its opponents 57.6 to 41.6. That 16-point differential will win you a few ball games. They've got some tough ones coming up before the East Husker Conference Tournament with Twin River, Logan View, and Pierce. And there's a lot of other tough games coming up as well. I think Katherine Harris is a little irritated right now at the fact that I'm previewing games instead of talking about games we have footage of. Let's show some, show some Lutheran High footage. 